guys and welcome back to our channel. I'm Ken. And I'm Michelle. And today we're going to be talking about Ted Lasso uh, Season 2, which is an Apple TV Plus series. And we watched the first episode. Yeah, we did. But before we get into that, guys, I'm going to ask that if you are not yet a subscriber of the Married with Media channel, what are you waiting for? Yeah. Hit that subscribe button for more great content. Also, be sure to like this video. And if you watched the first episode of season two of Ted Lasso, be sure to leave us a comment down below with your thoughts yes. on this uh, season premiere. So yeah, um, we watched the first season of Ted Lasso a little bit late. We didn't watch it last summer when it came right. out, but we watched it earlier this year. Um, what were your overall thoughts on that one? Yeah, so this show really surprised me. Um, I had heard some stuff about it, uh, you know, positive things. But I wasn't quite sure how I was going to like it. Um, but I actually ended up really liking the show. Yeah, I, I did too. And we were kind of in like an Apple TV Plus kick like the beginning of this year, I right. remember. Because we just subscribed to it and we watched right. Morning Show and Defending Jacob and The yeah. Servant. And this was like the fourth one I think that we watched. Um, uh, so we were really high on Apple TV at the beginning of the year. Yeah, so, yeah, I thought I the mean, show. Still am, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a great. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to Apple TV Plus, I mean, it's it's definitely one of our favorite streaming services. And yeah, this is a hit show. I think. Um, oh yeah, this is a hit show. I enjoyed the first season. Uh, some things about it I didn't like. Some episodes here and there, but it not that I didn't like them. It's just that they yeah. weren't as strong as other ones. Um, but yeah, it's it's more like I guess. Kind of what I would call like almost like a sitcom, yeah, um, of sorts. It's very comedic in nature, but it also has some emotion to it as well. Right. Yeah. Um, I just think this show is so great um, at just like making you feel good. Yeah. It's just like a really feel good show, um, and it's Sadekis's character. It's his, yeah. his positiveness. Is that a word? Is infectious. <laughs> And right. so it really just kind of rubs off on the viewer when you're watching it. Yeah, he's just very lighthearted and fun and um, you just can't help but like feel his energy. And yeah. Yeah. So um, let's go ahead and get into our thoughts on um, season two, episode one. Yep. Um, which was titled Goodbye Earl. Goodbye Earl for... So um, <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a strange title when you first click it on, and then it immediately makes sense. Yeah, at um, first I thought um, Earl was like maybe a team member or something. Yeah. Um, but no. So basically, um, you know, spoiler alert. Yeah, we're gonna be <laughs> um, doing a little spoilers in this one. Yeah. So this episode kind of opens with uh, one of the players on the team. Um, I believe his name is uh, Danny. Danny. Yeah, Danny, um, and he uh, accidentally uh, kills their, uh, it's like the team dog or yeah. mascot, I guess. Um, something like that. The dog's running after a duck like or a, something. A, a bird, bird yeah. And he kicks just at the right time, hits him in the head. Yeah. Um, I, I know you were, we were talking about this, but like, I guess it was fast enough to kill him. Um, but right. at first you think that maybe he just got knocked out. Well, but... it kind of, it doesn't show it, um, like actually hitting him. Um, but you just hear the dog like, yelp and cutscene, yeah. and you find out that the dog died. Kind, kind of an awkward beginning for a, a feel-good show, uh, right. <laughs> to kill a dog that... in the first two minutes. Yeah. Um, I feel like the way that they did it, though, um, you know, it kind of like, alleviated some of the sadness yeah um that is until uh ted um is uh getting interviewed by reporters yeah they had to like do some damage control like with ted talking to all the reporters and everything right. yeah so we got this um i thought a really like heartfelt scene um you know one of the reporters asked you know like what are your thoughts about what happened with the dog? And uh, Ted kind of gives this like really heartfelt story of how he um, got bit by a dog. Yeah. Uh, he ended up later on um, basically adopting the same dog that bit him. Um, and he just talked about like how close he got to the dog and then how later on, you know, in life he had to put it down because it was old. 
Um, and so, yeah, he just, I don't know, he gave this, like, really heartfelt. Yeah. Um, I mean, we were talking about this, and I think right. I read it a little bit differently. Right. Um, I, I still feel like he felt the emotion, but also, like, he was very much trying to win over that crowd with that speech. Yeah. And I think it was intentional. Uh, just how thick he was laying on the sadness. So, yeah, I can see, um, you know, how you felt like that. Uh, so, you know, after that happened, uh, they decide to bring in a sports psychologist. Yeah, because it really messed up uh, Danny. Danny. He's, yeah. like, in the shower, like, basically hating himself. Um, right. Because of what happened. Yeah, um, and he's kind of got, uh, like, a mental block or something, which apparently... Uh, in sports, they call it having the yips. And I've heard that somewhere. I don't know in <laughs> what other sports movie or TV show I've heard it, but I've heard that term right. before. Right, yeah. yeah. So, uh, he has the yips, which you're not supposed to say that word, apparently. Uh, so, yeah, they bring in the sports psychologist, uh, and they're hoping that she can help uh get Danny back in the game, right? Yep. Um, because, you know, he's uh, an important player. And yeah, you know, we got all of our returning characters from the first season, so we got some catching up to do with them. Um, you got Roy, he's coaching some girls soccer games now. Yeah, uh, I think like maybe like, I th yeah, I think like his uh, niece is on the team. Yeah. He's like very uh, close with his niece. Um, which he is like one of my favorite characters. Yeah, he's a good character. Yeah. And he, you know, he gave that big speech at the end of last season, uh, yeah. which was definitely a, a, a very big emotional. moment for the show, I would say. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's, he seems content coaching the little girls, even though um, his girlfriend, which, what's her name again? Kiki? Uh, Keely. <laughs> Keely. <laughs> it's like he's trying to get him to be a sports commentator, but right. he's not really feeling that. And um, yeah. We have uh, Rebecca. Uh, who, is she like a manager or, I don't really she's know. She's the team, at, well she took over the, she's the owner. So the she, owner. she took over yeah, the, like, for the husband, the yeah. like the husband and her, their divorce, like she took the team. Right. So um, we, you know, last season she went through a big divorce. It was yeah. like a big uh, part of the storyline. And then this season we are starting to see her date. Um, her as well as, uh, Rory and Keely, uh, they went like on a double date. Yeah, they're going on a little fun double date where like Roy's obviously like very irritated with this other guy because right. he's like, he's that type that's like constantly has to hear himself talk. Um, he's just constantly talking. And... The guy that Rebecca is dating? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, he just keeps telling like stupid stories from the past. And, right. Like, he's obviously annoyed and then he even tells her out in the parking lot. Right. Um, this guy doesn't deserve you. Get away from him. Which, right. Like, she eventually... He, like, tells her not to, like, settle for just, like, mediocre. Yeah. 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 Um, especially, like, after what she's been through. Um, and then we get to see a good old Jamie Tart, I think is his name. Yeah, right at the end. And I was wondering if they were actually going to put him in this episode. Yeah, because in season one, um, yeah. he basically leaves the team to go play for another team, I think. Yeah, it was weird with season one because they like built him up to be like a main character. Right. And then we lost him for like half that season. Right. And then he came back. And then yeah. now we're starting this season without him until like the very end. So I wonder if he's going to come back in a more prominent way this yeah, season. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so we get to see him very briefly. And he is apparently on some kind of like reality TV show. We get this kind of funny scene of Rory. Um, he's like setting down with yeah, like, I didn't know who he some, was with. Yeah, with some older women and we could have just missed the part about who they were, but um and you know, all the women are like swooning over Jamie and yeah. uh Rory's kind of, you know, like rolling his eyes or whatever. So yeah, I thought it was a great um opener for uh season two and I'm excited for the rest of the season. Yep, I definitely am too. So that does it for yeah. our review of Ted Lasso, uh, episode one, um, Goodbye two. Earl of, yeah. of season two. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you can, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications for all future videos. We'll see you guys later. Bye guys.